Hi everyone, and welcome to the video. So I've been bringing the Commando with me non-stop for the last week against both the bots and the bugs, and I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of his versatility and surprised at just how powerful it can be with just a little bit of accurate shooting on it. But first, let me start with the utility this thing provides. You can sort of think of the Commando as a baby between the Expendable and the Spear, and what I mean by that, it's, it's limited to the Expendable in that once you fire the four rockets from the Commando, you just toss this thing aside. I've already tried, you cannot refill the rockets in this thing from supply packs or ammo found in the world, even if you're carrying a partially spent commando, it just does not let you reload the ammo. I call it a baby spear as well just because, just like the spear can, if you hit a fabricator from anywhere at any angle with this thing, it will destroy the fabricator in a single rocket. By default, the commando also has a laser guided control on it whenever it's dropped, but you can disable it by holding down reload like any of the other weapons. And since it is a disposal weapon, you have a fairly low cooldown of 2 minutes before any ship upgrades, which puts it just 50 seconds longer than the expendable. So for me personally, I like to evaluate new weapons and stratagems based on two metrics. What utility it brings, and what is its kill potential. I do this because not all weapons are great at outright killing things, like the Eruptor, rest in peace, but it has pretty good utility for a primary that makes me still bring it animations on occasion. That being said, let's look into the utility for the commando. Starting on the bot front, as I already mentioned, you can destroy fabricators with a single rocket, but assuming you don't miss, that is four fabricators you can destroy without using up another more impactful stratagem. It already has a low cooldown, and the fact that you can destroy fabs from a relatively safe distance thanks to the laser guided aiming, so it has a lot going for it. Speaking on that laser guided control, you can actually use that to curve shots around terrain whenever you're behind cover, which with the bots is a nice bonus when you can really take advantage of it. It doesn't always come into play, but on the times that I was able to pull it off, it's nice to be able to just destroy fabricators or just hit enemies without worrying too much about getting fired back. Beyond that, I mean, of course, it can destroy illegal broadcasts. At this point in the game, what can't destroy them? But it can also destroy anti-air placements and mortar placements with one shot each in their wake points. Now moving on to the bugs, not a big surprise, but of course you can close the holes with the commando rockets and depending on the map, you may get lucky and you can usually fire from an elevated position far away so you can do this from safety. That's something what I like to do is make sure I get up high and just take a peek of the map and see what I can find and see if there's anything I can hit from up there with the commando. As for the spore spewers and shrieker nests, it can take them out, but it requires three missiles each, so if you need something quick and dirty for shrieker nests, maybe your airstrike might have missed a two out of the three and you got one last one left, it's at least a good alternative just to get it rid of a nest, you know, pretty decently and quick without having to use a full-blown stratagem or even like waiting for a hell bomb. Okay, so moving on to its kill potential. I've learned that with this weapon, you'll be rewarded for being accurate. Yeah, I know it's cool as shit whenever you fire off all four missiles back to back, but I promise you if you take your time, aim, you'll be rewarded greatly with this weapon. So to start, let me talk about the bots. Specifically, let me go with the gunships. You can actually take them down in one shot to their thrusters. Otherwise, it does take two to the body. It takes some practice to get it down, but you can clear out most if not all gunship patrols with some practice. And I gotta say, man, it looks and feels damn good when you're able to pull that off. As for practice, I would say wait until they're done strafing or right as when they're about to change their position and their strafe. That's the easiest time I've been able to actually land these shots on them. As for dropships, aim for the thrusters as it will take them down in two hits. Definitely do not aim at the body, you're just going to be wasting ammunition at that point. Moving on to hulks, you can actually one shot them if you hit him in the faceplate. Otherwise, it's two to that weak spot in their back or just three anywhere to their body. So even if you end up missing and not hitting the faceplate, you can just mag dump and then take them down. And now I am happy to report that tanks and cannon turrets that are mounted on top of either the factory striders or, the, or those you see at points of interest, those can be taken out with two direct hits from the commando, and you can hit them straight up in their armored in the front, the side, or even the weak point in the back. And lastly for the bots, I've got the factory strider, which unfortunately I did not get footage of this. For whatever reason, my recording decided to just, well, not cooperate with me, but... I can happily report that when it comes to factory striders, if you hit them in their eyes, their weak point, it's two direct hits to drop them, or you could just toss three missiles right underneath it and hit one of the carriage doors as it opens, and that is a guaranteed drop as well. So, super efficient for like just dropping a factory strider. I don't know if there's any other weapon that can take it down as fast or as efficient as this one can. All right, so moving on to the bugs, which we really only have the charger variants and the bile titans to speak about. You can use this to kill spewers and stalkers, but the commando is better suited for the heavies with more armor on them. I would recommend using something else for stalkers and spewers. Starting with the charger and the behemoth, it is a two shot to the face, and I am happy to report that. Luckily, this is the same with the Bile Titan as well, if you can get your shots down on its face. So what do I think about the Commando? Overall, I think it's a W of a weapon to get added into the game. 
it's impactful, it's useful. I honestly don't believe it's overpowered, so I don't know where these comments are coming from saying to, you know, don't nerf it, think, you know, I don't think this is the kind of weapon we need to worry about that with. I think it's in a good place. You know, I really do like that comparison of it's like a baby or a mix between the spear and the expendable. The reason I'm mentioning all this is because I don't really like to say that there is a meta or that there are specific things you need to bring into harder difficulties. I feel like a lot of content creators are saying meta this, meta that, and it's kind of taken away from the build diversity that I'd like to see in this game because honestly speaking for me, I do think that most weapons and stratagems are useful and have their place, but some people only want to use what they believe is the best or whatever someone else has said is the top tier of anything, and if it isn't the best, then it isn't worth bringing it in, and eh, it's... That ain't the way I like to play it, or like, oh, I don't want to tell people to play the game. And I feel like with the game like Helldivers, that kind of mindset is flawed. It's in my opinion, like I already mentioned, most of the weapons or stratagems have their situation where they excel in, or they have a niche where they can go, you know, where they do the job. But again, I feel like most people, if they don't have that jack of all trades that can do everything, they don't like it, which the developers have already made it clear with how they nerf and buff in this game. You're not gonna have a one answer to everything. You're gonna have to have some diversity. Do I think the commando is good? Should we bring it on every bot mission on Helldive? I mean, if you want. It's fun. It'll do some work and even this, then some. But so will other options like the expendable and spear like I mentioned earlier. Basically, just to finish it off, use the commando if you want a more mobile speed, or if you're an expendable fan and you want to try something a little different on the disposal weapon category. But if you're still here, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Oh, I hit it! It's aiming at me, though. Or are you? It's alright, yeah. Oh, thank God you did it. <laughs>